Cider is very multidimensional, much like beer. And I think at first people think that cider is just made from apples. How, how different can you be? But there's a lot of flavors out there. Uh, so the, the range of ciders can go from dry to sweet. And in between, you have all sorts of different flavors you can add and different apples you can use to bring out different flavors in the cider. And yeast can impart different flavors in the cider as well. You can do barrel-aged ciders. You can uh, make cider with like Cezanne yeasts. There's two different apples out there in the world for the most part. It's dessert apples or culinary apples and then cider specific apples. The culinary ones are the ones you see in the grocery store like the Galas, the Fuji, Honeycrisp, Pink Ladies, uh, which are good, great dessert apples and make for good blends for ciders. And then you have the cider, more cider specific apples like uh, Kingston Black or Golden Russet or Newton Pippin. Uh, weird names of apples that you don't generally hear about, but they're really good for cider because of their high acidity and high sugar levels in them. We go off of a flavor profile that we're looking for, and then we try to source apples that will provide us with those characteristics that we want. And so if we were to try and go for a sweet cider, we might find a, use a dessert blend with some other cider apples augmented into that blend. If we're going for a really dry cider, we'll probably use more sp uh, cider specific apples with high acidity in them and low sugars and ferment all the sugars out so it's dry and crisp at the end. I would start on the sweeter side of things. Uh, dry ciders can be intimidating to some people. Um, a lot of people that are buying the national brands are already used to a sweeter cider and we'll definitely be able to accompany the, uh, those taste buds in here with some of our semi-sweets. But you'll probably never find a cider here as sweet as the national brands. It's just not our style.